So one of the problems that home gardeners often encounter when they're growing tomatoes is something called blossom end rot. This isn't a pest or disease, but rather it's a symptom of a calcium deficiency. Sometimes it can be caused by something else, but almost always it's caused by a calcium deficiency. So what happens is, for whatever reason, the tomato plant itself isn't able to draw up the calcium out of the soil and deliver to this very young immature fruit. This immature fruit needs to have the calcium to develop appropriately, and when it doesn't get the calcium that it needs, the cells on the blossom end start to break down. And when the fruit matures and becomes full size, the scar will show up as this leathery brown or black rotting material here, or sometimes it'll show up as a sort of mushy, watery flesh, but this is actually more of a rarity. So this fruit is still completely edible. Uh, you can just cut off the blossom end rot and the rest is perfectly good. However, you should know that it doesn't store at all. So we picked this yesterday and it's already starting to rot around the edges, so it won't store on the counter like a, another healthy tomato might. So this is much more common in certain varieties. Uh, for instance, uh, especially in paste tomatoes, blossom end rot is very, very common in that. So there's several reasons why you might get blossom end rot or have a calcium deficiency. One is inadequate watering or ir irregular watering. So calcium can only be drawn up into the plant with water. And if you're not watering regularly and you're allowing your soil to dry out, the calcium isn't being delivered to the developing fruit. Another reason might be that you have a deficiency of calcium in your soil. So this isn't very common, uh, but here in the Sierra foothills we have a lot of decomposed granite in our soil, and decomposed granite, can, or granite itself can be low in calcium. And then finally, one of the most common reasons I think here in the Sierra foothills and in the, even the Central Valley where we get these days and days and days of heat, is heat stress. So when the tomato plant starts to get stressed and wilting, it draws what water it can up into its leaves and stems and doesn't deliver it to the fruit, so the fruit isn't getting the calcium that it needs. So some of the things that you can do to try to prevent this is first buy uh, varieties that are appropriate for your climate. Uh, and in some cases you can get varieties that are supposed to be less susceptible to blossom end rot. Definitely try varieties that are more heat tolerant. Uh, we, as an aside, our Master Gardener program this year is, are running trials on heat tolerant tomatoes or tomatoes that are supposed to be heat tolerant to see which ones really do uh, prove to have less problems from the heat than other varieties. So another thing that's important to do is to water deeply and regularly and also to deeply mulch around your tomato plants because not only does that conserve water, but it also keeps the roots cool and you want good root development in order to adequately draw up water and calcium. If you have a calcium deficiency, uh, you can try adding calcium at the time of planting in your planting holes and then whenever you see blossom end rot you can add it around the root system and water it in. We use gypsum which is a very very inexpensive form of calcium. We buy it at our local feed store, but sometimes hardware stores carry it. Your nursery might carry it. And if you can't find that, you can purchase other forms of calcium at your nursery. And finally, uh, there are some sources that recommend using a foliar spray that is available. It's supposed to stop blossom end rot, but there's been some testing on it uh, at the universities and it's been proven that the tomato leaves themselves don't absorb the calcium very well, if at all. And the tomato, mature tomato, once it's developed its waxy exterior, it can't absorb the calcium either. So it only really works on very young, immature developing fruit that doesn't yet have that waxy exterior. And so you can come out and spray your little baby tomatoes on a regular basis. You'd have to keep after it all the time. So it probably doesn't make as much sense as trying to use some of the uh, solutions that I've suggested. And then finally, sometimes when you live in a hot, dry environment like we do, we just have to live through the summer because when fall comes, a lot of the problems, especially blossom end rot, will disappear and we'll start getting healthy tomatoes again.